The bug world is not for the faint-hearted. From the shadows, assassins strike without warning. They're fast and they're deadly. You can be impaled, clubbed, or torn limb from limb. It's no exaggeration to say that this is the insect equivalent of shark jaws. Death can be instant or drawn out. But it's coming. The bug world is full of spies with a license to kill. In this deadly game of high-stakes espionage, any branch or leaf might be bugged. When a hooded mantis and a Brazilian wandering spider go for the jugular, it's all cloak and dagger. In the jungles of Central America, some of the deadliest predators are masters of disguise. From above or behind, the hooded mantis looks just like a leaf. But if you're prey and it's rearing above you about ready to strike, it looks more like a king cobra. And its bite is just as deadly. Not only is it invisible, the hooded mantis makes other bugs disappear. Like all good spies, the hooded mantis excels at surveillance. Two huge compound eyes give the mantis stereoscopic vision, an excellent view to a kill. It also deploys two extra-long antennae, each lined with tens of thousands of highly sensitive chemoreceptors. Free of debris, they pick up the faintest enemy transmission. The antenna are constantly detecting chemical and physical information, especially when the mantis is sizing up an opponent or prey. This is particularly important when it reaches that stage where the mantis can't risk taking their eyes off the opponent in case they suddenly launch an attack of their own. And its trademark move is always shaken, not stirred. The mantis uses strange rocking and shuddering as part of its behavioral camouflage repertoire. This helps disguise it as a flickering leaf and makes it hard to focus on. It'll use this tactic even while doing tiny little steps towards its victim. But the real threat are the legs themselves. Long raptorial limbs are lined with dagger-like spikes sharp enough to puncture human skin. The entire prey capture strategy of mantids revolves around remaining invisible to their targets, striking out of nowhere, pinning their prey with their spiked arms, and then delivering a series of killer bites. A katydid is an armored fighter who also kills for a living. But the hooded mantis has no trouble taking it down. That is a textbook raptorial arm lock. The caddy did has absolutely no way of fighting back. Super sharp mandibles, like the teeth of a great white, gouge the victim's head. And when the katy did's dangerous rear legs keep kicking, they are removed with clinical precision. This is a harsh lesson in monster bug indignity. If you struggle against a mantis, you're probably gonna end up in pieces before you die. But the hooded mantis is being tailed by an equally ruthless enemy agent. This skulking assassin 
is one of the world's most proficient killers. Wandering spiders are generalist predators, which means that they'll basically catch anything that they're capable of taking down. These are creepy spiders. The Brazilian wandering spider takes no prisoners. These guys have a really nasty venom. It actually kills a number of humans every year. Her powerful body and long legs are covered in dense hair. Each one is a sensor, picking up tiny vibrations, even changes in airflow, which she uses to lethal effect. A Katie did is in the wrong place at the wrong time. Its only hope is to sneak by unnoticed. This Katie did is trying to walk by the spider, pretend like it's blowing in the wind or that it's debris, that it isn't a living animal. But the spider is completely aware of exactly what it is and is going to go after it. Eventually, the spider makes its move. Not with blinding speed, but like a slowly grasping hand. Venom strong enough to kill a child brings instant death. The Brazilian wandering spider is considered to have the most potent venom of any spiders in the world. The venom contains a combination of neurotoxins that affect the way the nervous system works, and it causes a great deal of tissue damage. Now, digestive enzymes turn the katydid into green gumbo. But what happens when the Brazilian wandering spider meets its Cold War counterpart, the Hooded Mantis. Either one of these animals has the strength and the weapons to win this. These two ruthless agents share one creed, live and let die. Next, a jungle assassin goes for the jugular. Then, an armed colossus takes on an invading army. And later, murder with medieval weapons. In a seemingly peaceful Central American rainforest, a camouflaged hooded mantis is on an undercover assignment. A Brazilian wandering spider is also on a mission to kill. The mantid's spiked limbs and super sharp mandibles are more than a match for the spider's deadly fangs and super powerful venom. Two stone-cold assassins come face to face. So close, they are actually touching. So now the wandering spider and the hooded mantis are in contact with each other, but it really is who moves the fastest and where they attack. The spider backs off, wary. In a battle like this, there is no margin for error. The Hooded Mantis tries its favorite bluff. The Praying Mantis is hoping that its shuddering motion will let it get close to the spider without it recognizing that it has an opponent. But the spider isn't fooled. Like a Hollywood fight scene, the enemy agents are locked together in a precarious battle. The mantis is in the perfect position. Its mandibles could rip open the spider's belly. But it's too late. Like poison-tipped umbrellas, 
The spider's fangs puncture the mantid's thorax. Deadly neurotoxins flood the mantid's body. Within seconds, vital organs begin shutting down. The prospect of a massive feast has the spider's digestive juices flowing. Massive daggers slash the body to pieces. And it's sucked up like a mantis martini. So the king cobra of the mantids goes down. But you can't say he didn't score points for bravery. All that will be left is the mantid's hood, discarded like a dead spy's trench coat. <laughs>